Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus, wherever Capricorn energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days from whenever you see this video. Perfect timing. Now, why? Because it's not a horoscope. It's an energy reading. So it's going to pick up on energies coming from all Capricorns. This is about really the, the cumulative energy affecting Capricorns, not necessarily the specific planets in the specific houses. So have fun with it. Remember, if it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. Let's get right into the reading. I'm going to do the full oracle card spread here on YouTube and then um, there's always an extended uh, video, full tarot card spread that articulates and extends this reading. That link is in the description box and comment section below and always includes a love reading. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. Capricorn, 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 Capricorn energy. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn energy. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. It just slid out. Very straightforward. Let's see what's going on, you guys. Um, what is the crowning energy? Tend to the small thing. Something has been building. This card pops out when there have... Now, I understand who I'm talking to. Okay, and that you guys usually don't let any little thing slide. You are on top of everything. But something has been accumulating. You know, it can be emotional, probably is emotional during this season of emotions, which is Pisces swimming all around you. This tends to be those little things that have built up that you have addressed and you stock them up in your basement. You maybe have filed them and color coordinated them and alphabetize them, but they're still there and they're building up and they're taking up space. And it's just like when there's a mouse in the house. When you see one in your kitchen, there's 400 in the walls. And that's the energy of uh, tend to the small things. It's these little things that have built up over time that have accumulated and now maybe there's a major infestation going on. Um, yeah, let's move on and see the rest of the reading. Spirit has a plan, okay? This is from a far off distance, spirit is looking and watching and definitely has bought up these emotions and feelings inside of you for a reason. So it's got to do with the destination and where you're going. And usually, especially during a retrograde, it has to do with clearing out old feelings so that you're free and you're open and there's plenty of room. It's like if you're having abundance delivered to you, right? The abundance is going to show up and it's not going to have any place to go. So spirit has a plan before the abundance gets there. And the whole issue, the trick, the trick is that, well, the abundance won't show up until there's room for it. So there's definitely something that you've been holding on to, some emotions. And especially from what I remember I wrote in the Romantic Tarot, I'll attach it above here. Um, the reading I got in the romantic tarot reading, there is some sort of, there's, um, something wants to come through, something's ready to come through for you. And that's why you're feeling these things and you're feeling it to heal it. There is an energy here that's going to allow you to heal. It's not just going to come up to annoy you or irritate you, or even definitely not to make you suffer. If you are suffering, the sufferings for the reason that things need to be addressed right now or else what's waiting on the other side won't have room to come in. So trust it. This is destiny. The energy of 3.3, 3, 3.5, 3 plus 5. That's the, letter, the, the number 8. So that's the energy of destiny. Think of the infinity sign. It's time. It's time. It's time to let go. It's time to clear the space. Magic works through you. So you're the conduit. Um, you're going to be either, I, don't know, I was going to say the bearer of bad news or the bearer of the news that sets off this, sets off this action, uh, this action that helps to move things forward. So it could very well be that you're going to spot something or see something well in advance before anybody does. It could be, if you've had these energies of, hold on one second. 
if you if you've had the energy surrounding you or you've had these feelings of um I'm not going to say isolation, but it's almost like you know that something's going on, whether it be at work or in your relationship, you can feel that something's happening. Um, it's not just an energy shift. You can feel the building of something, but nobody's listening to you. That's the energy of they're about to listen to you or they're going to have to listen to you because you're delivering a message that needs to be listened to in general. Five plus two, 52 equals seven. So this is the energy of something that you're creating. You probably already see, this could actually be an idea too. You already see the future in something, the potential in something. You have the opportunity in your hands to be able to build something that will work. The question is, are you using it? This is Cancerian energy. So sometimes Cancerian energy, which is your opposite energy, it kind of moves very slowly or sideways and it doesn't go directly to the issue or the matter or it takes time to think about it or it worries about it or it wants to feel it out before. Well, it's almost like it's been delayed too long. And if you don't use it soon, you're about to lose it. Use it or lose it, Capricorn. Now, this could have to do with family matters. It could have to do with something maternal a building up over time or emotions, something that you remember from the past. It could be have happened between you and your mother or it could, could concern your motherhood because that Cancerian energy is straight up maternal. So it could be maternal instincts that are firing off. Um, you're not able to, you're, you're not able to sort of contain it. You have to go take care of somebody. You have to go help somebody. You could feel like somebody's in trouble or that somebody needs care, even if um, even if they haven't asked for it yet, or maybe it's you that needs some maternal care and you've heard from your mother lately, or um, even if your mother has passed, you've been feeling her presence around you lately, mostly because you need it. And a lot of times because something has to sort of manifest itself around you for you to be able to see it so you can practically grasp it. So this is that connection somehow with a deep, a deep rooted maternal instinct as well. Yes, even if you're male. Uh, take the lead. Um, this card comes out when you've been tapped. So basically, you're being tasked with something by spirit. Um, something that, that is very important. And this doesn't necessarily, yes, spiritually, esoterically, sure. But also in terms of your family, you're being tasked to take care of something or handle something um, that sort of needs a very light hand and a particular touch. Maybe other people can't can't do it or not can't do it. Um, it's, it's the situation would specifically call for you because maybe you're the only one that can reach the person who needs help, or maybe it's going to help you by helping them that kind of energy. But for some reason, you specifically are the right person for the job. And remember, there's this energy of the North node still being in cancer. Well, we can definitely see that this is requiring us to, um, really, own that's that space of what cancer teaches us nurturing uh prioritizing the home over the um overwork over making money which i know is difficult for you and particularly challenging for you not that you're not good parents but um you have those you have those contra those impulses and maybe this is about having spent too much time outside the home and too many things have accumulated inside the home because other things have been distracting you like earning money getting a job making profit things like that and that is not negative commentary or or, or even moral or ethical commentary it's just saying that right under your nose and right in your own home, issues have built up that are now coming up to the surface and you're going to have to fix them. And it could be actually circumstances with the house and the structure of the house too, because of the mice in the walls, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, know your worth, seeing something for what it really is, what it truly is, and it's not able to be disguised anymore. So the skunk can't hide in the flowers. This is the central energy. So whatever is really stinking up your life, whatever is the big bomb stinker, whether it's you or somebody else, it can't, there's, you can't put perfume on it anymore. It can't be covered up. It's sort of being revealed. Um, 
Be loyal to what you love. This is Cancerian energy too. I'm wondering if you're dealing with a Cancerian. There could be something that has built up between you and a Cancerian or Cancerian that wants to get in touch with you um, because this is loyalty. This is once again, domestic loyalty, truth, completely a true companion, a true friendship, true love. This energy of somebody who's sort of like a dog for you. They could kind of irritate you and annoy you, but for some reason now you're going to have to address them. This could have to do with an ex coming back. Um, they've admired you. They've wanted to talk to you for a while, but ultimately they have not been able to get through to you. Um, yeah, somebody who's almost like 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 puppyish, you know, like like follows you like a little puppy, or needs you and loves you, and and needs your sort of your more gentle energy to deal with, which can be challenging. Embrace the in between. Um, six plus two. This is eight two. Um, this is flocking together. You know, finding strength in numbers and finding strength in the family, sticking together. Um, I don't know if anything has been affecting you and your family specifically, if you guys have been going through a difficult situation. Um, but this is, or, <laughs> or, but this is definitely the energy of wanting to stay with the flock or bond with your family or, or find a reason for the family to all get together in order, because there's more strength in numbers. This is also about conserving energy because flamingos shift one, from one leg to the other, conserving and being economic with the resources that you have, um, finding help that's coming from your family, being helped through a difficult situation and being aided um, to get through like different nitpicky things, whether it's around your house or in your life, by your family strength in numbers and your family really helping you but this could also be that somebody is trying to come back in your life that you want to hide from and you're trying to sort of camouflage and disguise and blend into the walls and no i'm not here or oops i changed my number <laughs> um, um and then we also have claim your independence yeah so <laughs> two different uh, scenarios. Number one, you're definitely wanting to be single and wanting this person out of your hair and it's been building up for a while and you haven't known how to say it and you don't want to confront them. You don't want to hurt their feelings. They're not a particularly bad person, but they irritate you and they're not somebody that you would feel attached to and you don't really want to address them and yet you have to address them, which is why you're trying to skip town, but claim your independence. This is a um, uh, three plus one equals energy of four. You're going to land on your feet. It's going to be okay. And this is also the energy of if your family is helping you through a rough time or you're the one helping family through a rough time, everything is going to be okay. You're going to land on your feet. You'll get your independence back. It's okay. There could be some frustration here. Feeling like you're too dependent or feel like, feeling like you're too dependent um, on family right now or, or feeling like somebody's being too dependent on you. So, but still, either way, Whoever needs the help, you're, you're going to land on your feet. Um, and it's because of this help and the support that you're getting. Um, open to infinite possibilities. A five plus nine is the energy of 14. One plus four is five. So this is the energy of five. And this is the star card. So you're shining, you're standing out, you're getting, you're getting attention. The, the spotlight is on you. Uh, Capricorn so like I said it's your skills that are being called the magic works through you you're the one that's that's standing out maybe you're standing out to a particular person you don't want to stand out to maybe you're standing out to lots of particular people you don't want to stand out to and you're trying to avoid it and blend in because you don't really want to be in a relationship right now or you want to get out of a relationship that you're in either way it's going to be very very difficult for you to hide because you're standing out you're shining to somebody also, you're going to have to tell the truth to somebody. The truth is coming out. Um, this is a good thing too, especially for job opportunities. If you're looking for job opportunities, they could be coming in and really helping you feel like you're getting your balance back because that's what you've needed because you're getting opportunities coming into you because you stand out. You stand out. Uh, White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. This is a new beginning. I got this energy for you, 6-6, six, six, 66, um, 6 plus 6 is 12, uh, 12, 1 plus 2 is 3. So this is the energy of a new beginning and a holy, sort of a holy, like a, like a, like the holy trinity, something coming back into balance, a new start that helps clear out something in the past. This could be a baby being conceived or getting a chance to be a parent after 
rough times and difficulties with conception or something like that, or it's simply just your life is starting new. And if you felt a lot of tumultuousness going on in your life, you felt like, you know, you had to call the exterminator. There's been a lot of cleanup that you've had to go through. Well, guess what? What I say, spirit is tapping you for a reason. This is the reason a new start is about to begin. So yes, you're about to get that job offer. Offer. You're about to get that new opportunity. Or um, people are noticing you and interested in you romantically. Um, bring your ideas to life. Yeah. If there's just so much energy of like, it's alive, something that you thought was gone or something that you thought was over with is back. And listen, that could be bad or good, right? It could be, like I said, lots of accumulation over here and now you're finally able to address it. Or you could have been putting in a lot of time and a lot of work and feeling like it was going unnoticed, but now it's finally coming to fruition. Either way, something is very obvious and very much in your face that has to be addressed. I hope it's on the good side. Four plus two is six though. So there is a potential for love. And ooh, I got six, 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 right? <laughs> right next to each other. Um, no, don't worry. That is not the devil's number. It is absolutely not. Uh, it is an angel number that tells us there is a need to rebalance ourselves and find balance in our lives again because we've gone too much one way over the other. And that's what I'm saying is that there's this energy of something has been neglected and now is insisting upon care. That could be somebody in your family. That could be your home. It could be your career. But 10 to 1, it has to do more with the heart space and the home and maybe even your love life that's been put on the back burner. This and that are true. Be playful, like play. Uh, skip among the waves. Just um, trying to find balance too. Think of think of the two of pentacles. Maybe um, you're having some sort of financial difficulties this week, uh, having to rob Peter to pay Paul type of type of energy. Um, but I know that's going to sound crazy. Try to have fun with it. Try to be playful because this. This situation is not going to wreck you. It's not going to, it's not going to bring ruination to you. And when you look back on this moment, yeah, I mean, like, listen, there are parts to enjoy. There are tag sales to be had. Maybe you're traveling somewhere, you're going somewhere and you're able, you know, you're able to visit somebody there. There's just an energy plain and simple of even though things are a little bit rough right now, there are a lot of things to enjoy, especially if you keep things light. Um, and then we have the, hold on. Capricorn, there's, this, there's, this is a beautiful time in your life. It really is. It's just not as bad. Something tells me that you're handling things extremely well. That's, that's what I think. It's like, it's like, yes, things may be heavy and somebody else may be burdened by them, but you're handling them extremely well. Um, and then we have be here now. So focusing on the present moment, this is Libra energy. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra, we'll get into that in the romantic reading, but this is the energy of beauty or finding beauty and seeing beauty and spotting it and getting it to, to see it close up in ways that you haven't in a while. Um, sipping on the sweet nectar of life, being able to sip the sweetness of life soon. This is three plus four, which is the energy of three plus four which is the energy of seven. So yes, what you're working on, even though it may be tedious right now, even though it may not have gotten the recognition you feel like it deserves right now, believe me when I say the sweetness is coming. There is something divine, that sweet nectar of the gods that you'll be able to touch soon enough because the miracles are endless. And this is definitely blessings coming into your life and you being the chosen one, you being selected. Um, yeah, and you being heralded, heralded and seen as something special. One plus five is six. So there's something, there's these love nuances that I cannot ignore, Capricorn. Maybe it's with a Cancerian. Uh, maybe it's with somebody that you had dumped before and not really noticed, not really um, seen much in, but they're wearing you down type, type of thing. Like, I don't normally give you guys a love reading right now, right? This, But I have to say it, if it's here, and there's definitely new love nuances here. Remember, a relationship that starts out in Mercury Retrograde might not go long distance. But I said this to you last week. There could be this energy of 
going through this and experiencing this might help you heal. Um, may not be Mr. Right, but it's definitely Mr. Right now. Uh, squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, plant the seeds for the future energy of five plus seven, which is 12, three again. Things are going to work out. I'm telling you, there is a beautiful, hopeful energy here for you, Capricorn, and I can do it. Believe in yourself. This is um, Virgo energy, a card of the harvest. You could be dealing with a Virgo, living with a Virgo. It could just be the energy of Virgo. But once again, nurturing and healing, comforting and helping others to nurture through a cultivation, organization, scheduling, that's the Virgo energy. They cultivate things. They work very, very hard. So something that you have planted, seeds that you have planted, Capricorn, are going to come to fruition. This has to do with something that you've been working on. So believe in yourself, especially if you've been stuck up against the wall and you feel like, you know, there's no way to go. Something is going to break through for you this week. Hold on. Let me flip the camera angle around. All good things, man. All good things. When I'm feeling this, when I, when I, the energy I feel coming from you is that you're, you've gotten into such a swing, such a methodical, purposeful, I'm going to address these things methodically. I'm just going to go at it. You're almost losing sight of when you're going to win. So it's, it's in taking that pressure and that stress off you. It's in the activity of doing the work that the fruition is actually going to come into you because you feel, you feel best when you're working, when you are employed with an idea or with a purpose. And in this purpose is the perfect distraction. It's like embrace the in-between. This is what you're doing in between. You're organizing things, you're fixing things, you're addressing things that have built up Maybe you've been too busy in the past to address them. And now you can finally take care of those little things and it makes you feel good. And, and in feeling good, you're welcoming more abundance. You're welcoming in more abundance. These offers, these opportunities that are coming to you, these recognition is going to surprise you Capricorn. Um, because you're too, you're so focused and feeling so good just by being able to um, do things or feel purposeful again. Um, let's see where the extended takes us. I'm going to go over to the extended now. The link is below. Um, and we're going to go into your romantic uh, reading as well. So I'll see you guys over there, Capricorn.